I rise in opposition you know, to, to this measure. And, and first, I feel I need to raise the uh, kind of the point that I'm not exactly sure why uh, this bill is, is requiring a, a two-thirds vote. Um, several months ago, all through last fall, we heard over and over the need for pa Proposition 25 to pass so the budget could be done on time with a simple majority vote. And the voters spoke, and they passed Proposition 25, and yet here we are with this bill and, and the previous one uh, that doesn't have the, the fiscal component that some of the others, other, other trailer bills do, and yet we're still asking for a, a, a two-thirds vote. So I'm not exactly sure uh, why uh, we're not following the will of the voters uh, on this measure. Um, but I also must rise in, in opposition. A and I wonder at what point we are going to take seriously and look at and stop focusing our cuts on the most disadvantaged of California. I don't believe that our government has much of a role. But I do believe we have an obligation to support those in this state who cannot take care of themselves. And if you're looking for alternatives, I'm not here just to say we shouldn't make those cuts. I will give you alternatives. First, we could delay court construction costs. You may not like that, but that's $250 million. We could halt bond sales, $227 million. If you would like, we've discussed in years past, allowing drilling at, the, at, at Tranky and Ridge. That would generate $100 million of revenue. Or if we're really serious about the cuts and we still want to take the cuts to this department, why are we putting them on the hands of the regional centers, those who are actually providing the services? There aren't cuts in here to the administration, to the state employees. Why are we taking it out on those who are delivering the services in the field in every one of our districts? We can achieve this savings and still have, we still have to make these cuts. And I understand they're difficult for all of us. But these are alternatives that we could look at instead of putting those cuts on those people who are delivering the services and those who are receiving them directly. So I ask that we vote no on this, go back to the drawing board, look at these other options that achieve the same amount of savings before we go and once again take it to the people of California who actually need our protection the most. I ask for a no vote.